This is a load brake switch. It looks complicated, but it's really not. Really, it's like a big light switch you can use to turn the transformer on and off. They're called load brake switches because you can actually switch it off and on and change the position while there's load on the transformer and it will break that load. Now, there's two main kind of switches, two position switches and four position switches. Let's look at the difference between those two switches and how to operate them. Two position switches are simple. You've got two positions, on and off. When the switch is turned off like this, there's no power going into the transformer windings. Turning off the switch breaks the load and de-energizes the transformer. When you turn the handle on like this, the internal mechanism turns, making contact with winding leads and energizing the transformer. Now with a four position switch, you have a few more options. These are used in loop feed transformers and allow for four different switch settings. Position one, A side on and the transformer on or energized. Position two being B side on and the transformer energized. Position three, A and B side on and the transformer on in position four, A and B side on with the transformer off, not energized. When the transformer is in position four, it's just feeding through. The bushings are energized, but the transformer is not. Operating the switch on the transformer is straightforward and is usually done by the utility or an electrical contractor. They use a hot stick like this one to change the switch position safely. First thing to do is to move the limit plate Grab the plate with the hot stick's prong, pull it outwards towards yourself to release it, and then move the plate forward one position. The purpose of the plate is to limit how many positions the switch can be turned at once. The switch won't turn further than the position of the limit plate. Now you'll change the switch position. Grab the switch handle with the hot stick and rotate it clockwise. Turn it until you hear the click. This will be past the handle's final position. Once you hear the click, it release the switch and it'll rotate back in the opposite direction slightly. 